Hello everyone, welcome to Kachiano Easy Math. So this video is about solving another exponential equation. 1 over 5 to the power x plus 5 to the power negative x equals 2 fifth. And we're trying to find the value of x. And before we start, for those new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. And now let's start solving. So we're at the equation again. That is 1 over 5 to the power x plus 5 to the power negative x equals 2 fifths. So from here, next step will be cross multiply all the terms. So this is now 5 times 1 is 5 equals 2 times the quantity 5 to the power x plus 5 to the power negative x. Simplify the equation further. This is now 5 equals distributed property. So that is multiplied to both uh, terms in the parentheses. So that is now 2 times 5 power x plus 2 times 5 to the power negative x. This is now 5 equal to 2 times 5 power x plus 2 times 5 to the power negative x. So we'll be moving that to the denominator since the uh, exponent is negative. So they divided by 5 to the power x. That's from the ex exponent rule that is a to negative m equals 1 over a to the power positive m. All right, so that's what on there. And next step will be multiplying the whole equation by 5 to the power x. So to get rid of the uh, denominator 5x, so 5x times 5, that is 5 times 5 to the power x equals 2 times 5 to the power x times 5 to the power x plus 2, these cancels, so it just becomes 2. Alright. Simplify the equation further. I would like to move this uh, term right there all together to the right so they will become so this becomes this uh, simplifies to 2 times 5 to the power x since multiplying by itself so that's uh, square that and then minus 5 times to the power 5x 5 to the power x plus 2 equals 0 and from here if you notice this is now turned into quadratic equations as so soon as we have the uh, exponent 2 right there. And now let's introduce another variable to represent 5 to the power x. So that will be let y be equal to 5 to the power x. Substitute these values to those. So that uh, in the equation, this is now 2y squared minus 5y plus 2 equals 0. From here we can solve for the value of y by using factoring or quadratic formula. So in here I'm choosing factoring. So let's start factoring. So 2 times 2 that's 4 and that's positive and on the bottom there will be the middle, middle term. So that is 5 negative y negative 5y and both sides are the factors. Uh, factors of uh, 4 are 4 and 1 and 2 and 2 since the, uh, the middle term is negative 5 the sign of the factors be negative. Since, uh, since negative 5y is the sum of the of the product of the of the ins and outs if you do FOIL on the, uh, the factored out uh, binomial in multiplying negative 4 by negative 1 will yield positive 4. So this is now 4 and 1. And since the uh, the leading coefficient is 2, we divide by 2 bottom. So this becomes negative 2 or simply negative 2 over 1. And we're going to have the factors over here. Let's build a parentheses over here. Equate to 0. And then first factor, the left side, this one, that is y. And uh, the second term is negative 2. And the other side is 2, that means 2y. 
and that's negative 1. And from here, we got two binomial factors. We're equating now to 0. So y minus 2 equals 0. The other side is 2y minus 1 equals 0. From here, simplifying the equation, y equals 2. And the other side, y equals 1 half. Since uh, y is just a substituted value variable for for 5 to the power x, so we have to substitute a value of y okay, from the uh, equation earlier. Since y is equal to 5 to the power x, substituting the value of y over here, that is 2. Is equal, so that's 2. That is now 5 to the power x equals 2. And from here, to get the value of x, we're using the logarithm. All right, so log of 5x equals log of 2. And property of logarithm, we're transposing this uh, as a coefficient. That is from the log rule, logarithm rule, log of, uh, log of a to the power x equals to x log of a. So that's the same thing over here. So this is now x equals x times log of 5 equals log of 2. Simplify this further, divide by log 5, both of them, both sides of the equation. Now x now is, is cancel the turns 1. So this is here now logarithm of 2 divided by log of 5 is in decimal form that is 0 0.43 it's for the value of x the other value for y is uh, 1 half so we're using that uh, value for y equals 5 to the power x is equal to 1 half so we're using this value all right so we'll be using logarithm again this rule so we hear now that is uh, 5 to the power x is equal to 1 half so we're using this logarithm rule so we'll take the log both sides of the equation is now log of 5 to the power x equals log of 1 half. And now, since this is the exponent, we're transposing it to be on the left side of that. They'll become coefficient. So this is now x log of 5 equals log of 1 half. And simplifying this further, dividing by log of 5 both sides of the equation cancel that x equals using our calculator x here is negative 0.43 and in here if you notice both values of x are the same but the sign is different is exactly the opposite positive 43 and the other one negative 43 0.43 I should say all right, so if we were to check our answer. Now let's check our answer. I have uh, just written the uh, original equation right here. And uh, we substitute the value of x uh, for what we found in the first value right there. It's uh, positive 0.43. So substitute the value of uh, x over here. It is now 1 over 5 to the power 0.43 plus 5 to the power negative 0.43 equals 2 over 5 question mark right there so by using our calculator we found that values of the denominator is 1 divided by 5 to the power negative uh, 5 to the power 0.43 that is 1.99 plus 5 to the power negative 0.43 that is uh, 0.5 is that equal to 2 over 5. So once again simplifying by using our calculator, this comes out to 1 over 2.49 and that is equal to 0 0.4016 and is that equal to 2 fifth where value of 2 fifth is 0 0.40 or 0.4. So the left side value is approximately equal to the right side value. All right. So 
we have just confirmed that uh, the value of x that's 0.43 is correct and uh, if we go back to the uh, second value of x that we found earlier the value of x was uh, negative 0.43 if we go back here to the original equation we will be getting the same answer since if you know this the exponent is here is positive and the other side is negative exponent so we'll be doing the same thing like substituting the same way since this negative all right so in here I have just written the original equation and substituting the value of x here negative 0.43 that will be 1 divided by 5 raised to negative 0.43 plus 5 to negative times negative 0.43 is that equal to 2 fifth and if you notice on here substituting the value of negative 0.43 we will uh, be coming up to the same situation that we what we had earlier saying 0.43 negative the other one is positive 0.43 both side exponents on on its uh, exponent this becomes 5 to raised to negative 0.43 and the other side is 5 raised to the positive that's positive 0.43 so that's the uh, denominator so we will be going to the same direction as that one right there so we'll be having the same answer all right so this just confirms the positive and negative value of x, 0.43, or both of them are correct. All right. And the exact value of x is that one right there. Log of 2 divided by log of 5. And the other one, log of 1 half divided by log of 5. And so that's all for now. And for those new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. I would appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next videos. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.